Would you look at this? This morning, delicious desserts in the kitchen. This morning, Paul Knapp, what have we got? We're making a chocolate pot there. So what we've got there is like a chocolate orange mousse. So again, have a little taste, see what you think before I tell you what's in it. Oh. I don't want to spoil it, because what, what I've done, I spent... Chocolate's three, in it, isn't there's, it? There's chocolate and there's orange in there. So have a little taste. Yeah, it's just chocolate mousse. That's all you want to hear. Mm -hmm. But I spent 30 years kicking down doors, right, in the fire service. Right, and all yeah. I try and do is, when I say what's in it, straight away a door closes in people's heads. So <laughs> I'm just trying to kick down people's attitudes towards like this. So this is a plant-based dairy-free chocolate milk, chocolate mousse, OK? Oh, so, right. Yeah, so there's no, there's, no, there's no dairy in it as such, OK? So what we put in this, we've got in there, we've got some chocolate, which we're going to melt. We've got some silken tofu. Okay. There's tofu in this? Tofu in there. So not the, not the stuff you see in the chilled oil, you know, the one you might use for stir-fry. Okay? Yeah. This is the silken one. You'll find it in cartons, kind of in the, in the sort of like the, the Asian section in supermarkets. And what it does is it lends itself really well to dishes like this because what you've got is, you know, like that kind of creme oh, brulee texture. It doesn't look good there, does you, it? Yeah, you've got another creme brulee, that kind of flaky, kind of baked egg custard, all right? Oh. So, and everyone, everyone slated tofu for ages. Oh, no, it's really and they say, looking and, at that. And they say, me. it's boring. It's tasteless, you know. And ultimately, what we want is something that doesn't have a huge flavour because we're going to be flavouring this with our orange and with our chocolate. And mm. again, all that does... So if you think about it, if you can melt, OK, if you can blitz and if you can mix, you can make this, all right? So mm. our ingredients are chocolate. We've got some silken tofu. Chickpea. When you drain your chickpeas out the tin, you know, if you're making whatever it be, yeah. that water there is, is uh, aquafaba, which basically just means bean water. And what you can do is you can actually whisk that up and it comes up meringue-like, OK? So I don't know if you can get that on the camera and just in there. So what you get... No okay. way. Yeah, absolutely. So what that is, that's aquafaba. That is just basically the bean water that you mix up, all right? So I just throw that water out normally. Absolutely. So you can use this for meringues. You can use that to make mayonnaise with as well, so it acts as like an egg substitute. Wow. And actually, it holds itself well. So, like, the test of the thing is it should... You should be able to hold it up with <laughs> yeah, that. You're too <laughs> confident It's been there. there for a little while. So, basically, what we've got... OK, so in here, we're just going to blitz up 300... or oh, sorry, 700 grams of uh, silk and tofu, all right? So that's and does that up, just come in a tin? It comes in, like, a little kind of a carton, just like okay. a little... You know, like the Posada cartons and oh, stuff yeah, like that. So yeah. you open that up, just drain off the water and just pop it into there, okay? okay. All the recipes up on Island Dam's Facebook page as well as Virgin Media One's website. You want to blitz that up for about four or five minutes so it's lovely and silk. So I'm just going to put this on for a quick blitz. <laughs> about 100 grams of maple syrup goes in there to sweeten it up. A little bit of vanilla bean paste goes in there as well, a tablespoon. <laughs> and then your orange. That's just your orange essence goes into there like that. So it's about vanilla a Vanilla bean paste. Yeah. Sorry, yes. So that gets blitzed up, OK? So that's all that happens with that. So that's your curd. So what this is, this is the bulking agent, OK? So what we've got is we've got flavour, we've got bulk, and then we've got air, and that's going to make your mousse, all right? So you can make this. It literally takes about 10 minutes to make, all right? And you leave it in the fridge then for probably a couple of hours and then take it out about 15 minutes beforehand because you want to serve that at kind of room temperature because the fats in the chocolate will set. And if you think about it, chocolate, well, cocoa bean's been around for, like, thousands of... Well, it's been around yeah. since the beginning of time, OK? And chocolate has been around for donkey's years as well. Milk chocolate is probably in the spectrum of chocolate. It's only been around for a short period of time. Oh, really? Okay? Yeah, it's only been around for about 150 years, milk chocolate, when they did that. So we're used to that dark chocolate. And I think if you did a straw poll, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, which one would kind of come, you know? Horse milk chocolate would be. But I think as you get older, your taste change as well, and then you start to gravitate towards that. That's a rich... A it's rich not just healthier. People try to be healthier with dark chocolate. Well, you wouldn't no. eat as much of it, because it's very, very dark and very rich mm. taste-like, you know? So what we've got here is we've got uh, 300 grams of dark chocolate, which we've just melted over a pan, OK? And we're going to add that. As I said, if you can mix and if you can melt and if you can blitz, you can make this dish. There's no cooking involved in it whatsoever, which is why it suits me really, really so well. So, sorry, that's it. Just... First of all, this is all that is. So all this is, is that's the silk and tofu. OK? And our dark chocolate's gone into there, all right? So what we've got in there is... You could actually leave this as it is and you'd get more of a kind of a, a, a kind of an eggier custardy mix with this. So all I'm going to do in a minute is I'm just going to fold in our egg whites as well, or our egg whites. Our aquafaba goes into there as well, OK? Into that as well, just to give it a little bit more of an orange, is some zest. So we're just going to put in there the zest oh. of an orange goes in there as well. Put that around the right way, it always works a bit better, I find. So we zest in there an orange. So and this last... is a completely vegan. Absolutely, yeah. It's all plant-based, all dairy-free, and, and if you want to call it vegan as well, it's vegan. I have yep. to say, like the taste of it is. Now, that's all I want to hear. Yeah. If, if, like... if it doesn't taste, if it doesn't compromise on taste, I swear you wouldn't tell any difference. Yeah, in and taste. so you're monkey and even flavor and the texture either. Texture-wise, absolutely. Yeah, and that's what you're looking for, really. I mean, it, it's there's, it's out there. I mean, tofu's been around for thousands and thousands of years, like you know. So it's not as if uh, we're kind of reinventing the wheel. Just stir that in. And the last thing we're going to add, OK? Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is actually thickening up already. You could actually just serve it like that in a pot if you wanted to. It's a little bit more dense, a little bit more richer. But what we're going to pop in there is just these, a few spoonfuls of our aquafaba, <laughs> which is just basically our whisked chickpea water, OK? So we don't need to waste anything like that. And all we're going to do is we're just going to be folding this in 
and mixing this in. You can use this in baking as well, like if you want to bake it into cakes, as this, just to give it that light and airy, fluffy taste. So we're just folding that, and we served it there with just a little shortbread biscuit, which yeah. I just flavoured there with vanilla. And you can't say anything bad about those shortbreads because I robbed Catherine Layden's recipe. So if you say anything oh, bad about them, really? you, oh, no, you have to rob the Catherine then over that one. Should tell me off again. Yeah. Uh, so what would normally be in a mousse that isn't? So what would be what's, what's whipped cream? Whipped cream. You put whipped cream in there. You can make them with eggs as well and egg What does well. the tofu replace? The tofu is really replacing kind of the cream. Okay. So you're getting that real kind of, it's a heavier mousse though, do you know what I mean? It's more like, and this would be ideal in like a cake filling as well, because it's almost like, you know, like a buttery cream kind of a thing. Mm. So silken tofu is really, really, so it's, it's, it's very underused in uh, kind of say mainstream kind of baking, but like in a lot of plant-based cooking, you would use it because it is a great substitute. You can use that in a savory dish as well. So okay? let me have a look at that now. So what we've got is this here. Wow. And then what we do then is we're going to serve this because it's, I'd say, because it's dark chocolate, because it's very, very rich. Where do I put my spoon here? Okay. Because it's dark oh, chocolate, it's more, very, very so, rich. So what, you just spoon it and put it just into the fridge? Just into the pots like this. Again, just dark chocolate, it's very, very rich. Pop in your pot there like this. Or as I serve that onto teacups, you'll get about six of these little bowls out of that. Okay, and they would go into the fridge then for approximately two hours just to set. I say even now in the studio it's starting to set. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll, I've just put mine into fancy teacups and just dressed them there with a little bit... Paul Knapp. You have excelled yourself once again. Look at that fancy teacup as well. Pinky out. Paul, the firefighting chef, that is delicious. Thank Cheers, you. Thank you very much. Hmm. After it, you cannot tell the difference between that. It's very impressive. Mern, what do you reckon? Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. And you look like you've got a really nice, kind of dark lipstick on oh, now. Chocolate teeth, yeah. It's <laughs> really good on you. Oh my God, oh. makeup slot with Tommy Bow mm. coming mm. your way. You can't get those things uh, oh. naturally. This is so good, Paul. And the design, it's delicious. Look at that, how cute is that? Now, uh, coming up, we meet the man who spent 10 years studying positive thinking. He makes you happy. This makes you happy as well. Doctor of Happiness, Dr. Andy Cope. He'll be checking in very shortly. We'll see you back here soon.